What's going on YouTube? Neg for cubing and today we're going to be looking at a tutorial slash competition slash random view of the first sort of algorithms I learned in solving the Rubik's Cube. And some quick announcements. Let's get into it. So we've hit 300 followers on Instagram. That is a huge achievement. I'm very thankful to the support and I'll be doing a future special Q&A coming up probably in the next week. All right, that's all I wanted to say, so let's get back to the video. So with this competition slash tutorial, I'm gonna teach you the algorithms in which I first learned um, how to solve the cube, and then from there, pretty much post your videos on your attempts, and I'll click use a random generator to then find out the winners. There's going to be a total of three winners that are going to be featured in my now 300 follower special. Um, so, yeah. They're not too hard of an algorithm. They just, I've never seen them get used, ever. Um, they're a bit, bit out there. The way I first learnt was the algorithms, they started at the second layer. So. For the whole first layer, so I learned on white. It, it, it didn't, I didn't know exactly the algorithms in order to get the white face, for example. It was all done intuitively and it was get the white face and then do these algorithms for the second layer. So that's what this algorithm, algorithm sets of algorithms is going to be. Um, so if you're a beginner, probably isn't the best method to learn. I would suggest probably learning beginner's method. Um, Phil from the cubicle did a really good tutorial on the beginner's method, which I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. So I do have a scramble, which is gonna solve the entire bottom layer. We'll leave a copy of the scramble in the description. All right, so from here, the first step is actually going to be putting in the edges. <clears throat> so what we're looking for here is we're looking for edges on this face. So at the moment we've got the red and the blue and the blue and the orange and the green and orange. So what you're going to do is you're going to position an edge so it makes, when you flip the cube over, a giant T. This is going to determine which side we're going to be performing this algorithm. So the algorithm I'm going to teach you first is putting in an edge and where you have to position an edge in order to perform the algorithm is on top of the T, so right here. So since this is a blue on top, we know that it needs to go here. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform the algorithm for the left. So for the left, what we're going to do is an F prime, just like that. So what that does is connects to the blue and the red, and that's how you know which way to perform this algorithm. Then we're gonna perform an X, then a Y, then an M prime, then a U. Then we're gonna rotate again with a Y prime. Then we're performing an M, U, M prime, and then U prime. Now if we line the bottom layer again, we can see that we've inserted the blue and red edge piece. All right, let's perform another one. So we'll do this green and an orange one, get the big T, just like that. This time, it needs to go to our right. So the algorithm is very similar, except the only difference is at the start, instead of doing an F prime, we're gonna perform an F and slot it over here. Then we're gonna do the exact same as last time, an X, then this time a Y prime, M prime, U prime, Y, M, U prime, M prime, and then U. Then we orient the last layer again. As you can see, we've now inserted the green and orange 
and kept the blue and red in the same slot. So let's look again on the top layer for another piece. So blue and orange. So let's make the big T. Like this. Yep, T. So again, needs to grow to our right. So we'll form that algorithm. F, X, Y prime, M prime, U prime, Y, M, U prime, M prime, U. Orient the first layer, just like that. And that's slotted in the blue and the orange. Last one, red and green, just here. So I'll line it, so it makes the giant T. This time, it also needs to go to the, it go to the left. F, X, Y prime, M prime, U, Y, M, U prime, M prime, U. Orient the first layer, and just like that, we've done the first two layers. If you have an edge that is in the right spot that flipped, the way I used to do it was I would do the exact same algorithm. Just like that. Realign and then do the algorithm again. And that would fix the edge. Now going on to the last layer. First what we're going to do is get the yellow cross on top and there's three possible uh, outcomes that can occur when looking at solving the yellow cross on top. So this happens to be one which is the L, the next one is the line and the one after that is the dot. Very, very, very easy. You only need two algorithms and then the last one's a combination of both the first and the second one. So the first one that you can get is the line. This is a very simple algorithm. All we have to do is an F, then the sexy move, which is R, U, R prime, U prime, and then F prime to fix it up. And that will give you a yellow cross. The next one is called the L. The way I like to do it is to point it towards me and to my right. And then what I do is perform the exact same algorithm that we just learnt, except instead of doing an F, we're going to be doing a wide F, so the first two layers. Then perform the algorithm exactly as the same as the first one, R, U, R prime, U prime, and then a wide F. So you're going to move both layers back up. For the dot case, what you're going to do is you're going to perform the first algorithm. So F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that will lead us directly into the second algorithm, which is wide F, R, U, R prime, U prime, wide F prime. And that will give us the yellow cross. The next step is to permute these edges so that they are connecting to their right colors. This is a very easy algorithm and a lot of you will know exactly what it is. It's called the soon algorithm. What the soon algorithm does is it switches uh, three edges. And that's what we're sort of looking for. What we're going to do is we're going to find one edge which is in its correct spot while the other three are incorrect. So right now we've got two that are correct and two that are not correct. Move it to the orange, we've got red, that's not correct blue that's not correct and green so here's here's what we're looking at so these three here are in the wrong spot while orange is what we're going to do we're going to perform the soon algorithm which is r u r prime u r u2 r prime and as you can see that's fixed the blue and the yellow the red and the yellow and the green and the yellow and put them all into the right spot now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the corners and find which corner is in its correct slot in 
comparison to the rest of the cube. So for example, right now I can see rare, uh, correction, orange and blue and yellow in the orange, blue, yellow slot. So that one I know is in the correct spot. Now what we need to do is find the corner that goes in this slot. So let's see, this is a red, green and yellow. So red, green and yellow. So we're gonna pay attention to these two corners just here. So what we're gonna do is now that we know that this corner is the corner that needs to go into this slot. So we're gonna perform the algorithm so that the correct corner is on your left and the diagonal corner is in your right. This is how you perform the algorithm. R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L, U. And as you can see, that's kept our blue, orange and yellow in its correct spot and has also put the red, green and yellow in its correct spot, which means it has solved the other two corners as well. If instead you had your correct corner and you found your diagonal corner was on your left, you'd perform the exact same algorithm except you would start with your left side first. So for example, L prime U, R U prime, L U, R prime U prime. The last step in solving the cube is to orient the corners. And this is a very easy algorithm. It's just four moves and then it's just cycled through. So the four move is R prime, D, R, D prime. You do this until the corner is in its correct spot with yellow on top. So we'll do it again. R prime, D, R, D prime. R prime, D, R, D prime. R prime D, R D prime. Make sure you complete this cycle before moving on to the next corner. So now that one's in the correct spot, we'll go to the next one and do it again. R prime D, R D prime, R prime D, R D prime, R prime D, R D prime, R prime D, R D prime. In its correct spot, move on to the next one, last one. R prime D, R D prime, R prime D, R D prime, R prime D, R D prime, R prime D, R D prime. Now that it's in the correct spot, orient the last layers, and then we have solved the Rubik's Cube. So here I'm going to do a quick solve uh, while using this method, I guess. Um, it's a pretty slow solve, so gives me more time to sort of talk about the contest which I'm holding. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hold a contest where you guys post your videos using these algorithms which I'll have them linked down into the description so you know exactly what you need to do. And I'm going to use a random number generator to pick three lucky winners who are then going to feature their video in my um, 100, 200, 300 follower special Q&A which I'm going to hold next week when I figure out some time on when I'm going to do it. This is a really bad solve. Um, don't think anything special. I'm pretty sure it was way over a minute. It's a very, very slow sort of method. As I said, it's not really anything any sort of speed solver would use. It's just the first algorithm that I learnt. Um, if you guys know the name or who created it or where I can find any other information about this algorithm anyway, please let me know as I have, haven't been able to figure, find it at all anywhere. So yeah, um, I'm probably going to speed it up just to get through this solve. Uh, I might not. I'm, by the looks of it, I'm just about to do soon to fix the edges then I'm going to do that algorithm that switches two corners yep and then I just need to orient the last four corners it was pretty unlucky but um almost done 
If you stay this long, I applaud you. So thank you. Um, pretty much going to be me teaching you how to solve 